Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. I wanted to do a video today about Amazon.it, also known as Amazon Italia. Um, as I mentioned in the video I put up yesterday, I'm going on a business trip um, on Sunday uh, to Torino. So I'm very much looking forward uh, to this business trip and I thought I would avail of the time outside of Israel to pick up a couple of things uh, on my wish list uh, that I actually was planning to buy in the US this summer, but now that I'm on a trip to Italia, uh, I thought I would order from Amazon.at. Um, so I've been wanting to do an order from them for a long time. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to find much that delivers to Israel, but they ha there have been some. Um, I wanna show folks for who have never used anything other than Amazon.com what these are. Now my background in Amazon is that uh, before making Aliyah to Israel, I worked for a brief period um, as a CSA, a customer service associate with Amazon.co.uk. Um, so, you know, they, they, they taught us a little bit about the workings of Amazon internally. So Amazon marketplaces are quite interesting. They're kind of self-contained units of Amazon. And you can see they have a list here. This is from junglescout.com. And they've got them listed 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. And you can see there are some newer marketplaces coming online and these all link off to URLs. So Amazon.com is the one that most people are familiar with. But there's also Amazon.ca. I'm just reading the URLs that you can see on the screen here. Amazon.com.mx. Amazon.co.uk is the one people in Ireland use. Amazon.de. So there's three... Actually, there's four European Amazon marketplaces. There's Amazon.de if you are living in Israel, and I'm only saying that because I live here and some of my subscribers are also based here. Amazon.de is worth trying as well as Amazon.uk for shipping to Israel. But there's also Amazon.fr for France, Amazon.it for Italy, Amazon.es for Spain, and those are the European ones. And then they've even got uh, Amazon uh, Turkey. Um, and there's also a Turkish... Amazon, I'm a bit of an e-commerce fiend, the Turkish Amazon-like website's called uh, Happy Sporada, and it's a really good website, and you can see uh, Poland and Sweden there. Sorry, so these are two newer marketplaces. So when you go on to Amazon.it, the first thing to say is that there isn't a um, English user interface. Um, so basically, it's all in Italian. Now, I did Italian for a few years in school, and so far, my little knowledge of Italian has been good enough to use this website. But um, if you don't know any Italian, then you can just use Google Translate and it would work just fine. But you really don't need to know that much. Il mio account, i miei ordini, my orders, uh, crea una lista, create a list, a wish list, um, et cetera, et cetera. And if I go into my account, I've got my hotel listed. Now, one thing to know about the Amazon Marketplace is you can see here, le tue liste, your wish list. I've only got one wish list, Torino, 0522. So I have like 50 or 60 wish lists on my Amazon.com. So that's why I'm saying the marketplaces aren't really connected. They're kind of discrete um, business units and the information you have on one Amazon marketplace doesn't necessarily populate or doesn't populate across other marketplaces. Regarding customer service and my experience, it's usually self-contained teams as well. Now the difference between an Amazon marketplace and let's say something like amazon.com shipping to Israel is basically that it's a real business in that country. So if you go on to um, YouTube and I put in here uh, Amazon Italia spelled incorrectly, you can see there's a video of Amazon's uh, fulfillment center. So Amazon relies upon what are called FCs or fulfillment centers to supply orders. And you can see here uh, this article on Amazon about Amazon uh, from 2020. Amazon's newest FC in uh, Colifero, Italy was opened. So basically a marketplace means in the case of Amazon Italia, um, there is a real uh, physical infrastructure of Amazon fulfillment centers. So this, they're shipping from that country. And because they're shipping from that country, it means for instance, if I was, lo I was looking at these uh, wireless systems, wireless microphone systems, if I go into one of these, uh, you can see my delivery options or that I can do, I can get next day uh, delivery. Um, and uh, there's also Amazon Prime, so you can sign up for a Prime trial. Now, if you're really trying to be sneaky, you can do a Prime trial and then cancel it, even if you don't intend remaining in Italy. Um, but you can also just pay like $5 for next day delivery. And that's really the difference between using an Amazon marketplace and buying to a place like Israel. 
that is supported by other Amazon marketplaces, but there isn't a local FC backbone here, is that you'll get these next day and same day delivery options and prime memberships that uh, they can't offer in places like Israel uh, because there just isn't the logistics chain in place uh, to make that work. So this is Amazon Italia. Um, I'm excited to pick up my orders and uh, yeah, it's definitely worth checking out these alternative marketplaces um, if you are uh, trying to think creatively about where you can get stuff from that might be cheaper than your local market. Thanks for watching this video and more of them are coming soon.